Greetings and welcome to Ostriv. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am ready to start a brand new game. I hope you all caught the stream that I did of this game the other day. It was fabulous and it taught me so many things about the game. In this series, uh, we'll be let's playing the game and starting a completely new town. So if you watch the stream, this is going to be completely new content for you. And um, we're going to start off... Um, well, let me tell you a couple of things. We had just we just had a patch today. This is the game's been out for one day, and already the dev has been working hard and has already gave us given us a patch which fixes several bugs, including the gravitational anomalies that we experienced. Um, also, I have done quite a lot of research as to crop rotation, and I will be talking about that when we get to the episode where we do farming. I don't think we'll get there in the first episode, but we might. We'll see. So the first thing we want to do is go and uh, look at a new game. And I am going to try this map. I think this map, the first one has unlimited or there's metal all over the shorelines, and I think that's free metal. I want to try a little bit of a harder map, though. So this one and this one both do not have metal along the rivers. I just checked them before I started the game. So we're going to we're gonna see if we can buy metal and see how far we get uh, in having a successful colony. So let's start on this one. If you remember, this was the map that did me in <laughs> on my first playthrough of the game. So we have this absolutely exquisite countryside, the landscape. Look at the reflections in the water. The trees are reflected. It is absolutely beautiful, this game. So I've kind of thought about how I want to lay out my village. Um, and I think that layout is fairly important um, because I'm not sure if it applies, but it seems like housing may need to be near or if it's better that it is near to um, population buildings. So we're going to try to organize our colony just a little bit differently than before. Um, right, the first thing that you need to do is build a forestry. Uh, the game tells you this very, very clearly, so we're going to do that. Uh, and after that, we need to do something very specific as well. Okay, you can rotate the building with R and T. Should I build it here? Or maybe over here. I think over here. I like this over here. You can replant trees so that um, if you want to. So we'll put this right over here. And we'll have our people uh, start working on this building. They are absolutely beautiful. If you see, they are wearing traditional um, uh, Ukrainian costumes from this era. Uh, 1721. I my, uh, my paternal grandmother was Ukrainian and she um, knew the traditional designs and she would embroider tablecloths and pillows and all kinds of linens uh, with those very so I know what the detail looks like I know it's quite far away I can't zoom in any closer than this but it it really brings back um, memories for me uh, oh one thing that we also need to do is I don't know if this building requires it but we're going to need some clay um, for some of the other buildings so we're gonna get our clay pit organized over here this is just a very simple building have that over here and it's instantly made, so we don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is build housing for our people. That is super, super important. Um, so let's just go ahead and rotate some of these guys. Could we could put one? Could put a couple here actually, along the edge of the forest. That would be okay. One thing that I did discover. Someone mentioned this in the comments, and I thank you very much for that. And I forgot who it is. I apologize most profusely for that. This is the order of um, kind of priority of buildings, and so you could actually move them around just by clicking and dragging on them. It's pretty pretty handy. Um, while these guys are building the forestry, other people will be grabbing carts and taking materials over to these houses as well. But it's important to get the forestry up first so that they can produce wood. One of the cool things I absolutely adore about this game is they build things one thing at a time. Watch this uh, this gentleman go and he's picking up one thing and then he builds it. Uh, the same thing with the carts. They unload the carts uh, and they put it down. Uh, the the <laughs> Sometimes the hammering is loud, but if you zoom out, it goes quiet again. But you can see them, they're, they're unloading stuff and then they build the flooring here and then they're going to build the walls after that. It is such a lovely process to see them do this. It makes you feel like the buildings are actually like real 
it's not just a facade going up. They feel like there is depth to these. You feel like this is a place where our people can work. And look at these. Some of these columns are decorated um, with carving on the side of them. Is that not lovely or what? This is so good. Uh, the graphics on this game are fantastic, uh, by the way. I think you can probably see that. Um, it's just, just such a lovely, lovely thing. I, if you can't tell <laughs> already, I'm really impressed with this game. Um, this is made by the way, by a single, uh, developer. He's been working on this game since 2014, if I call it, recall correctly. Um, and it's just one man, uh, dev team making all the things, uh, as far as I know. So it's, it's very, very impressive and it's very, very beautiful. All right, let's go. Come on, guys. Build this thing. Hurry, hurry. Let's go. We need to get all of the houses up before winter because life will be bad if we don't. We're going to lose colonists to the winter because guess what? It snows here. Um, so we need to make sure that that happens. All right, these things are getting built as well. Okay, clay has been delivered there. The clay is kind of cool because they'll actually sit and they'll dig the clay out. Um, when they take it. There we go. Okay, the forestry is up and running. I want to get two workers assigned there immediately so that they can get stuff going. Now, time to build houses. It says build houses for all families in the camp. Super, super important. We have, oopsies, I'm, excuse me, we have 18 adults, nine men and nine women, and they're basically couples. So that means you're going to need nine houses to start off with. Okay. Oh, there they go. The guys felled a tree and they're carrying it home. Uh, there are little info things like these here. If you click on the help text, it tells you foresters chop down trees for wood and firewood production. At least two workers are required for chopping down trees. As you saw, they both need to carry the tree back inside. Uh, foresters will also clear the land for construction if necessary. So that there are trees in our building plots, they'll chop them down. You can also remove a specific tree by clicking on it and choosing remove. Now we can also build trees or plant them um, by going into decoration mode and then just sort of plopping them down, press shift to place multiple of them um, so that they kind of grow over time and we won't run out of forest for our uh, woodcut woodcutters to, to pillage over here. <laughs> we need to have plenty of trees. Um, this area, it looks okay for trees, uh, but it could be, we'd, we want to make sure that we have them growing and, and keeping on being produced there. So when you start the game, you have enough food and, uh, and, and, and nails and wood to build all of your, your forestry hut and your nine houses. And then you really need to build a smithy. Okay. So here's our people. They're all working in the camp. The thing about this game though, is that the, uh, jobs are gender based. So only men can be laborers working on stuff. Uh, and then women have their own jobs that they can do. Um, so you have to really keep track of who can do what and uh, what jobs you have available because it's really important um, in terms of the money that they get for, you know, uh, being able to pay the rent on their houses and buying food at the market and such like that. Um, it may, it may be that you require a two income family uh, and not just one income so that people can survive. So, all right, we got our people. They are doing stuff. Come on, guys, keep on, keep on going here. Looks like we may need more woodcutters. Let me hire all, all the, the men we can for woodcutting. Actually, let's do four and that should leave five for doing this. I think we were short on stuff. How much thatch do we have? We have nine thatch and each house requires, let's look, we have to build a thatchery requires three thatch. Wow. We need some more thatch emergently. I'm going to build a thatch making hut over here or a thatch thatchery building right here because I'm planning on having the, the, the housing continued this way. So let's go ahead and go here. Thatch needs to, people need to collect these green things, these reeds down here, not the, the, the lily pads, but the reeds. So we're going to put this as close as we can to those reeds. Um, Maybe put the entrance, eh, maybe this side. Can I do that? No. I can do it this way. It's interesting the way the game allows you to build kind of more logically, which is kind of cool. I think it's awesome. Cool. 
Okay, we can build it like this though. Let's build that um, ahead of this so we can start collecting thatch and making it go. All right, guys, let's go, let's go, go, go. Um, how much wood do we have? We only have 56 wood. Each house costs 50 wood. Okay, so it's really important that we get um, these things made. Here's our thatchery down here. As you notice, um, when people walk over the grass and make paths, they actually make paths. Um, you can't put any roads down specifically, but as they tread on the ground, they will make these paths, uh, which is pretty handy because then they, I think, I'm not sure, but I think they might be able to walk faster on that. And if they stop using a particular route, then they will, then the paths will get overgrown with grass again. Okay, there we go. Lots of wood happening. Very nice. Okay, we're getting the thatchery built. Cool. We'll have like one person hired at the thatchery to make thatch, I think. There we go, we're building this place. Very nice indeed. It's April, I'm worried about <laughs> getting the houses up. We gotta get those houses up. There we go. We, um, what's cool is also there's like a timeline for stuff. So they're using nails and wood right now. Oh, there they go. And that one is done. Boom. Let's see if I can show you on another house. Let me plant another house in the ground here. Um, I think we'll have it maybe over here. What's nice also is that these fences connect so you can kind of connect them along and have these very interestingly shaped properties. Okay. And then here kind of want to have a... Let's get this this way. We'll have a little entrance to the town right there, like a road. Oops, I keep forgetting to press shift and I should press shift. There we go, shift and then shift. Then maybe turn it a little bit. I don't like them having like just totally all in a row. It's or totally the same like Roman roads. I get very, very tired of um, super grid like based things. I think this is much, much cooler. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and I think we'll have like this one could be eight, right? Eight. And then we'll have another one here. Oops, I wrong way. <laughs> I forgot my R's versus T's. Okay, we'll have this one here. And my idea for the center of this is to have the market, the production buildings, and over here we're going to have farming happen. All right, so let's go back up to triple speed again. And I'll show you the timeline for building. So what's happening is that they're using the wood and nails right now in this particular timeline. Uh, they're waiting 10 wood. Okay, so the guy's grabbed the cart. He's putting out the wood here and hopefully we're gonna get some uh, workers to actually work on the house. There we go. So it's being built and you can see the progress bars go. So the next thing it's gonna need is some clay. So we're gonna watch and hopefully a guy will arrive with a cart uh, to dig out the clay from here. Let's see, who's gonna come over here? Somebody please, maybe? Oh, there's still, okay, was that not important? No, here's the clay coming on. Okay, here he goes. He's like digging up the clay, puts it in the wagon, and then he goes along here. Just go at speed two, there we go. So he's unloading the clay, which I love that they unload the clay. It doesn't just appear magically. It literally gets unloaded, which is awesome. All right, let's wait. Let's see where's some more workers. Hello. People also need to go to their houses and rest. Um, so, okay, here we go. Here's a worker. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to, he's getting the clay and he's putting up the walls. Very nice. So that should be this bar, I think. Okay. Oh, there's more clay arriving. Nice. Okay. So they're putting up the walls. Looks like they can do some progress, but sometimes it is blocked by they need X amount of stuff to complete whatever process before they can go further, which is kind of cool. All right. So very, very good. This house is getting done 
and it looks like a different design than this one. There are several different house designs, which I think is amazing. It makes the, um, the, the village look so much more natural, I think. How much wood do we have? We have 219 wood. Okay, I think we're going to fire a couple of these people uh, and then have them all be workers. I think that's a good idea to get people delivering stuff and working on things. It takes them a little bit of time to change jobs, but hopefully these guys are going to bring whatever else is needed to clay and nine wood. Uh, up here you can also see how much of each material that you have. So we have lots of uh, nails and uh, plenty of wood at the moment that we're going to have to, we need to keep it running because we have to build all these other houses as well. So you can see that the, the houses are completely different. I mean, this has a little portico or porch, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it has some, uh, you know, clay stucco on the side and then wood on the other side of the house. Uh, and these just kind of end up coming up randomly, which is kind of neat. Uh, I like this idea. And they all have these little fences along the properties. They have trees and these trees will grow over time. And that gives the game a beautiful, beautiful sort of sense of progress. Um, and you can just see, you know, how your village is growing with time. Okay, this is cool. This one's a little bit different orientation as we were kind of, kind of follow, following the trees around as well. Are they building any of these guys? No, not yet. Okay. So we're really trying to manage the male population at the moment. So we have eight women looking for a job, but um, we cannot actually give them a job yet uh, because we don't have any um, jobs for women yet. So it's kind of rough. Okay, there we go. They're unloading more carts to build this house here, which is very, very nice. Got all this clay. They build the fireplace inside of clay. So here's our little progress thing. I wonder which house this is going to be, what it's going to look like when it's done. Come on, guys. Come back. Come back. <laughs> so looking for builders. Yeah, we just need builders to come and build this house. Now they're looking for laborers. Okay and they're awaiting clay. So as far as I understand it, laborers bring the materials. They'll bring the wood, they'll bring the clay over, and then workers are the people who actually do the building part of this whole thing. Okay, so they're unloading stuff. There we are. Right, chimney up, and there they are building the roof so we can get some thatch going. All right, and there goes the thatch. Oh, and another new house. See, all three of them completely different. I think it's so, so cool. Um, and then, you know, when you see uh, smoke coming from the chimney, that usually means that they have um, occupants. These guys <clears throat> are not having smoke, but they do have people living in here. And you can check on um, on the, the occupants here. We have uh, these people, for example, these have... Mikhailo, which is the, uh, you know, the, the father in the household and the mother is Katerina and she's unemployed, but he works at the camp center. And here we have uh, Mikola and Romana and they have a daughter, Alina, who is two years old. And these have a daughter, Irina, who is two years old. So uh, you get to see a lot into the lives of your citizens. Let's check how much thatch we have. We have 16 thatch, uh, which is pretty good. This guy keeps on working. Uh, if you want to look at uh, the progress of your people, you can click on them. Here is, he's taking a rest, but he's he's going to work. Hold on, let's go uh, speed to show the path that he's taking, right? He's carrying two thatch. And where is he going? Where are you? Okay, now he's going out to the river to collect the thatch. There he goes. It's kind of hard to see that, but he's carrying stuff with him. Let me see if I can just like zoom out a little bit. He should go and collect a little bit more, I hope. Um, but you'll see how, how useful it is that he is, that this thatch uh, place is so near the reeds by the river. So here he comes. He's going to go and collect the materials from the river. There he goes. And there he's walking back and takes them into the little hut. And of course, the, the slope is kind of rough for him, but that's all right. We have more thatch, which we do need for building all of these houses. 
uh, that are soon to come up. So right, this one is waiting clay, all kinds of things. How much wood do we have? 210. Uh, we're doing really good. We also have, we have a need for firewood. So these guys are going to be chopping firewood and that is super important for the winter time so our people don't freeze. Um, we It's July right now and uh, we still have a lot of houses to build. No. Uh, so let's see, thatch, we need one, two, three, four, five. So we need 15 thatch, we have 20. I think we can fire this guy from here and he can be a worker now. Uh, I know it sounds strange to like hurry up and build all of the houses, but this is absolutely necessary in the very first year that you do this. Um, but don't get the impression that the other part of the game is very much rushed. It isn't. Uh, it's very, very relaxing. Once we get to food production, then the game kind of becomes a lot more um, relaxing and fun. And oh, there's another new house. See, completely different uh, and very, very lovely. Uh, we can also build some benches. I think we should do that. In fact, over here, let's build <clears throat> a bench here. Rotate this. In fact, let's build a series of benches. One, two, three. And we'll have them just going down the hill. Four, five. Okay, and these people are resting here. That's That might even be a more convenient place than walking all the way down here the, to rest. Um, we can also build a couple of trees for our people. Um, maybe a birch trees. My mom loves birch trees. There we go. Put them here and uh, hopefully our forester doesn't cut them down. They should be okay though. <laughs> Ish. Uh, right, so they're already on the next house. We may even build this many, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the, the only problem with this setup is I feel like maybe our people are too far from the original camp. Um, we'll see if that makes a difference though. We have the clay being made here. We've got wood over here so I'm hoping that it's okay um, for this. So come on, peeps, keep on building. Yeah, what happens is if you don't build enough houses, that many people will leave. Uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting for them to go and uh, do the house, let's look, look through the menu. We've got first thing, houses. Uh, second thing is water. We could definitely use a well over here. And I think we'll do that as soon as we get the houses built. Uh, they do have a well out here. Uh, right here uh, so that they can get water. Uh, but right now these people in the houses have to walk all the way down here to get the water and come back. So that's extremely not convenient for them. Production is the most interesting menu of all so far. Um, and it gives you all of the buildings. You can even click on the help before you build the buildings to find out how, how each building works. We've got the forestry, which of course is going to generate lumber and firewood for us. Farms will have give us the ability to grow food uh, like crops. The windmill um, processes flour, or, or I should say uh, wheat, into flour. Cowshed gives us the ability to own cows and um, raise them for meat or milk. The slaughterhouse, of course, takes care of the, the meat part of the cows. Uh, the tannery uh, processes leather. Then there's a hay dryer, which you use for uh, giving grabbing a, a hay from the ground and feeding to the cows in the winter time. In the summer, they can actually use pastures and things. The carpentry building will build us special items. We've got a smithy for nails, clay pit we've already talked about, tailor's workshop, weaver's workshop, shoemaker's workshop, thatchery, which we've already done, oil workshop, boat yard, and fishing dock. All of these we will we will be playing with, and of course I'll go into more detail once we actually get them. Uh, there is there's also trade and transport menu which gives us hay barracks. It's like a storage for hay. The granary which is storage for food, super super important building. And then we've got a trading post which allows us to trade with other towns. The market stall is for selling goods to our own citizenry. And then cart parking, which is a bigger version of this little thing over here. This is a very basic cart parking, uh, but the bigger one has a little roof and holds up to four carts. And then we have bridges, which we can span 
um, this river and go to other islands, like for example here. You build a bridge, they are very expensive, so we're not going to build one right now, but they're very cool and our, um, our folks can use them. Otherwise, people cannot cross the river, so it's important to choose where you build your place. For example, if you build on an island first thing, um, well, I don't think you can because the, the original camp starts over here on the main part where it is connected to the wider world. Uh, but anyway, uh, you don't want to blow all of your money and nails on a bridge right off. Government. We do have a town hall building, which enables us to adjust food prices and taxes so that we can uh, make sure we're, we're in the green uh, so far. Decoration. We have various kinds of fences. We've got an arch, different kinds of arches. We could build a big arch, actually. Maybe that would be nice to kind of have the entrance to the main town right there. It's an instant build thing. Uh, what else? We've got a bench, which we already looked at over here. Trees. Um, and you can have all these different trees growing in your town. There are seasons. We have not gotten to any other seasons just yet. We're in September, though, so new seasons are starting soon. Man, we still have three houses to build. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. We don't want it to snow. We really don't want it to snow. Not yet. Please build, build, build. Hurry. All right. So they're doing that stuff. Now, there's education, which is a work in progress. Remember, this guy is, is alpha one uh, of this game. It is an alpha. And... Um, so it's very, very early in development, but there is a roadmap on the developer's website, which I highly encourage you to check out if you're interested in the game. You can also buy the game there. It is not on Steam yet, so the developer's website is uh, the place you can buy it, uh, and it's powered by the Humble Bundle store. Um, so you can feel safe in making a, a transaction if you choose to do so. Um, right, and... Health also is a work in progress, and so is religion. I'm really looking forward to all of these three coming into the game. Um, but what we have now in the game is very nice production chains. Um, so, all right, wow, they filled it, finished another one. I'm so excited. Can they finish? House number eight. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, here we go. Just We'll just look at the uh, the different styles of houses here. Okay, finally, I think that one's similar to that one. Yeah, okay, so there are several different houses. One, two, three, four, five, five different ones, I think. Right, that's a lot of variation, I have to say, and I, I, I think it's adorable, it's wonderful. Okay, come on, build, 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 go, go, go. It's October, I don't want it to snow. I can't remember if it starts snowing in November or October or when. Uh um, so it doesn't show any food here, but if you click on the houses, you can see that they do have a little bit of food each. Uh, some flour and some potatoes, and of course they're getting their water, and they are getting firewood as well. Come on guys, can you please finish this house? Go, go, go before November comes. So anyway, it's looking really good so far. Our people are working hard we have wood of 205. Um, can, if I fire these guys, can we just, can they all start building, please? <laughs> please? Go, 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 hurry. Um, go. You can do it. You can work on this. You can build everything. Oh, I'm so afraid of that timer. Look at this. I should have fired them a while back. Um, when I had enough wood, I really should have, I'm going to need more thatch soon. See, we're down to five. Um, so we're waiting for three thatch. I may, I need to have another person working on thatch right now. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. Can we move another person in? Bling. Yes. We have one house left. It is, wow, it's the beginning of November. Okay, this guy's collecting thatch or reeds for thatch. Good, good, good. Whew, we might make it. We might make it. On the stream um, save that I did, I did on that village, I um, I decided I, I made it to having eight houses, but I didn't get nine in. So we'll see. Are you guys going to go? 
Maybe it starts snowing in December. I don't know. But having more workers definitely helps. Oh, see, here's the fall. You can see the leaves on the ground. They're falling. It's absolutely beautiful. And you, it's just lovely. Just lovely. And here, the leaves on the ground. Of course, evergreens don't shed in the wintertime. But these other trees do. And all our birches that we have over here. I love fallen leaves. They look so pretty. Okay, are we going to make it? Village house. Go, go, go. Do things for us. Quick, quick. Zap, zap. And I'm thinking I want to have like a town center here. This will be our production of a lot of things. Um, and then maybe we'll have more houses on this side or even on this side here, uh, depending on our proclivities. All right. How's it going, guys? Are we going to get this done? All right. We want to get this house built. Wow, all of our people, almost all of them are working on this house. Come on, you can do it. You can build it before December. Come on, guys. Looking for laborers, waiting for clay. I kind of wonder, though, that they don't deliver all the stuff at the beginning of the, of the whole thing. Like, why don't they deliver everything at once? You know, like in the beginning... They're waiting for four clay, but they can have two workers working on all that stuff. Come on. Don't go to December. Please, please. Okay. Do we have any metal? We have ten iron. No family moving out because it's too cold. Oh, that's what happened. So this is our family. They're going to go. There they go. There's the path they're going. That's them, and their child probably too. Yep, they're going. Okay, so we're not going to get anybody for to live in this house um, until maybe spring if we have food production. So right now we're down two colonists, two useful colonists. Uh, children are not useful yet. Um, I don't know what age they become adults, but anyway. Right, the first building after that you need to build is a smithy absolutely critical that you build this building because guess what the smithy requires nails um so <laughs> you need to get your nails going i want to build also a cart parking i think we'll build a cart parking i think uh, right by the road on the side would be a good idea i feel like building it right here would make sense to us and then we'll build our smithy. Because anytime they have to pick up stuff from somewhere, they usually pick up a cart first. All right, so let's build our smithy. Um, this way, our, there we go. Put that here. Very important that we have that. Because we do not want to run out of nails. We have 490 nails. Let's just look at how much they need for this smithy. They need 112 nails for the smithy. And then the next thing we want to build after that is a farm. We really need a farm. So I'm going to put the farm out. Hmm. I'm going to build it here. So I'm thinking I want to have the fields out this way. Okay, and we'll have the entrance that way. That makes sense to me. Okay, so here we go. How much thatch do we have? 11. Okay, that's not enough yet. Do we have enough wood? We have 119 wood. Let's hire some more workers for wood uh, collection. Okay, and we have one vacant house. Yeah, these people are complaining. They will not come because there's no market. So I think it would be good to build a market stall and we'll build a couple of those, I think. Trade and transport. Let's build our market stall here. Is that kind of like in the center? Approximately in the center. Okay, let's build this. Maybe build a couple of these things, or three maybe. One, two. You know what we could do? Like four of them. Let's have like four market stalls. Um, and those can provide employment later to um, ladies work at those. I think. Maybe both men and women can work there. I'm not quite sure. It might just be women, though. Okay, here we go. The smithy. 
Work, 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 guys. Let's go. Uh, and then since I don't believe we have any metal on this map, we're going to have to build a trading post. And that's going to be a very, very important item for us to do. Where is that trading post? It's under trading, probably. Yes, there it is. <laughs> 174 nails. But after we build this building, we'll be able to make much more nails. I'm not quite sure how many nails you get per piece of iron. But this game goes into um, tenths of items. Uh, so for example, you might see, let's look in here, we have 1.31 potatoes and 1.29 flour. So it actually goes into hundreds of some things. Um, so I'm not quite sure how much metal it is per nail, uh, but we might be able to find out. There we go. And we're gonna hire a blacksmith to work here for sure. Now it's January, we wanna get the farm completed by March because that's when growing season starts. Come on guys, can you please do this for us? We really need this building completed because we're, we really want to get the farm going. We must have that done by March so we can lay out our fields and be able to um, to sow them with seeds uh, because you can't sow during any time of year. You have to sow in the springtime or else you won't have enough time for your crops to grow. There they go, they're bringing stuff there, which is nice. Uh, this one just needs workers to finish. So watch him finish this blacksmith's shop. Very, very nice. There they go. Woohoo, very nice. Okay, let's hire one somebody to work there. I was wondering why there's no windows like on the front of this thing, how funky. Um, but yeah, we have somebody gonna work there. Uh, they're gonna bring five iron in here. We could actually watch them work um, and see. There's the farm getting built as this is going on. Okay, the iron arrived. Where's our worker? He's working. Where is he working? No idea. He's, oh, he's going probably, oh, he's going here. Okay, so there he comes. He is gonna work. I love also that the the um, the villagers change clothing. They're all in these kind of like, well, except for the children who are going barefoot. But um, the adults are in these very interesting sort of winter wear, uh, overcoats, long dresses, kind of things. Really cool. Really nice. There they are sitting on the benches. I'm really wanting him to make some of these nails. I want to see how much equals how much. Taking a rest. I don't want you to rest, dude. Come on. Go to work. Yeah, there we go. All right, so 4.98, I'm gonna screenshot this. So 0 0.02 iron equals 10 nails. So five iron equals a ton of nails. So we don't have to worry about iron like supremely just yet, um, but that's good to get the process of nails started because we only have 234. Okay, thatch is almost done. I'm gonna fire the thatch guy. For, well, actually, go ahead. We can store up to 20 thatch in this particular building. Um, so we'll keep it at that. All right, can we get this building done? Come on, guys, go. <laughs> I'm feeling like I should have put my clay pit maybe closer in, maybe because it seems kind of far away. We could have a second clay pit. That's really not an issue. Yeah, it's not too far. It's actually okay. So as you notice, all the tents are gone once they once people move into the houses. And eventually, once we get our building up, is it the camp center? This building will be deconstructed uh, once we get our uh, nice town hall built. I would like to get a well though. We need a water well or two around here. Let's get this one moved maybe this way. Have the well in the town center near the market. That makes sense. Okay, when he's tinging away at stuff. Uh, and I could also put another well over here, I think. Let's get another one right there. Let's put the well part near the road. Don't know if that'll help or not, but we can always dream that it will. How's this going? All right, they're still needing, they're looking for builders. Okay, come on guys, go, go, go. 
but that'll save our, our people time in finding stuff so that they can get, well, um, well, as soon as they construct the wells. Um, also keep in mind that if you have a cow shed, the, um, they need, well, they need water for the animals. Now, farms do not need access to water unless you have, uh, oxen and a plow. So that's something you can, uh, not worry about. Okay, hopefully we'll get this finished. Uh, I'm kind of worried now. <laughs> it's like, come on, hurry up guys. Where are, where are all the workers? Where are they? Fire the thatch guy. Oh, he's not even here anymore. Um, we have, let's see, we have eight men. Um, so there are two working here, one here. So that's three all together. Where is the rest of them? Where are they? Sometimes I don't know where they all go. So, but I think sometimes they're also not listed. We have the mayor as well, so he may not count as a worker at all. Okay, guys, come on. Please build this. They need wood. So we're going to get wood, hopefully, from here. There they go. Collecting it, dropping it off. And they're waiting more wood. Okay, look at these guys just chopping away, getting those trees felled. I think I'm going to add some more pine trees around here so that they grow. They do take quite a long time to grow. Uh, be aware of that. But here they are. They can be all put down here. There we go. Nice. There we are. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. It's almost the end of March. I'm hopeful that we can get this sorted out. See, now this, this stage, it's like, why don't they call for the new materials immediately? I kind of wish they would, but it's okay. We're, we're getting there. Hopefully we have enough of everything. We need two more thatch. Oh, come on guys. Okay. There's the guy bringing the thatch. Yay. <laughs> this is good. And they've already built the wells, which is nice too. Maybe they were working on the wells. Okay. So I'm going to pause here because I feel like we've gone a very, very long time in this episode. And then the next episode we're going to devote to farming because there is quite a lot of setting up to do with the fields and such like that. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this um, this series so far with the first episode and will be joining me for the next episode. So thank you again for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.